Welcome back on a day after special CBI court in Kerala. Zathiru Nandapuram delivered his verdict in a 28-year-old murder case as it held a Catholic priest and a nun guilty. The court is now all set to pronounce the quantum of punishment in the murder of the 21-year-old sister Abhaya as well. Remember, the sister Abhaya was murdered and her body was dumped inside the well of a convent in Kotayam in 1992. It's been a 28-year-old year-long battle for and justice for the nun as well. In fact, among those convicted is Father Thomas Couture, who was a Viker and taught Sister Abhaya psychology at the Kotayam BCM College. He was also the secretary to the then bishop and he later rose to be the chancellor of the Catholic uh, uh, Doices in Kotayam as well. In fact, uh, another convict, the Sister Sefi, stayed in the same hostel as Sister Abhaya and was de facto in charge of the hostel. The quantum of punishment will now be delivered today. Let's go across to my colleague Ashwin. Ashwin, certainly it has been a 28-year-long wait for Sister Abhaya. Please share more. Richa, a case like this has never been witnessed in the state of Kerala. 28 years, on March 27, 1992, 21-year-old Sister Abaya was found dead in a well of St. Pius X uh, convent in Kotim. What followed after it was a series of sabotage. Uh, first, the Kerala police started investigating. In the 17 days, they destroyed evidences followed by which the crime branch also took this investigation up. Even the top officials of the crime branch had uh, sabotaged this uh, investigation. And they, in fact, uh, went to an extent to say that uh, Sister Abaya is uh, uh, not mentally sound. The prominent officers of the crime branch who investigated this matter for nine and a half months uh, uh, was, uh, uh, in, was in fact uh, implicated as arraigned as one of the accused for tampering with evidences in this case. Such was the case that one of the investigating officers even committed suicide because while the CBI was investigating this matter, uh, a, a senior ASI, uh, uh, Mr. Augustine, because of this pressure, he committed suicide. Then the CBI took this matter and never like uh, never witnessed before three times the cbi had approached the court saying that they haven't got enough evidence to uh, pin down the murderers it was the court the judiciary which sustained it they went behind they told the cbi to ensure you find it and three times the CBI had told the court that they haven't found enough evidence. The court still said, right. continue investigating this matter. Such a case has never happened. That is why this case acquires a lot of right. prominence. Because 28 years later, when the when right now the main accused father Thomas Kotur and the sister Sefi, the quantum of punishment will be announced at around 11 o'clock. Right. The kind of dra dramatics that has happened in this case, including uh, a, a robber who has been a witness to these, uh, this in act. Fact, Ashwin, are... uh, it's been 28 years uh, since the case has been on and a day after the special CBI court in Kerala, Sunandapuram, in fact, delivered its verdict uh, holding the Catholic priest and a nun guilty. What kind of a quantum of punishment are we expecting and what has been the demand? Yes, the section which has been, uh, uh, the two accused is three, section 302 and section 499 for uh, Father Thomas Kotur, which could invite a, a life imprisonment as well. And for Sif, uh, Sister Sefi also, the murder charges as well as tampering with evidences. These two sections have been imposed. So section 302, 499 and section 34, these three uh, IPC rules have been imposed. So right now in the court, uh, as we are speaking, in the court, uh, the main accused are the court will give them an opportunity to, to speak and uh, also to give the uh, get, talk. Uh, the, they will be able to talk to the court what they want and what are the uh, what they would want to say. So all these things are right now happening. After which the court will decide on the quantum of punishment. It was a victory for the prosecution. Now for the accused side, the lawyers will definitely say that uh, they are old now and that the the, the quantum of 
of punishment should be reduced. Yes, uh, and it has been 28-year-old uh, case that they have been toiling under. So such circumstances, the, the counsel for the right. accused will certainly try to reduce the quantum of sentence. But it needs to be seen what the court sees. So by 11 o'clock, we will get a clear picture on what the quantum of punishment for these two accused are going to be. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Rashmi, for getting us the latest. So all eyes on the special CBI court that is all set to pronounce the quantum of punishment in the murder of the 21-year-old sister.